Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another Ecomi video. And before we jump into it, I just want to start by saying congratulations to everyone. It's been a very, very successful couple of days. Um, yesterday was a huge success. Although there were some flaws and some things went kind of wrong, it still did very, very, very well for the um, Ecomi community. And we're going to be going over some of the charts today. I'm going to show you some of the statistics and stuff for what actually happened yesterday and why it, it was just an amazing day overall, even with the problems. And I want you to look at the stats. When we go to the stats, I want you to see the stats that happened yesterday. And think about the fact that stuff went wrong yesterday. Imagine what happens if it goes flawlessly. Imagine what happens when it goes flawlessly. So this is why it's the beta. It's going to have some hiccups here and there. And it, it can it can make growth go a little bit slower. But even when the growth is going a little bit slower, it's still going big. So um, as we can see right here, this is the burn wallet. The burn, like coins are burning. They're burning. And if you don't know what this means, basically what makes something like Bitcoin so valuable is that it's a limited amount. After the set amount of coins that are available is sold, there's just no more. There's no more. So that it because it's so limited, it makes it very very valuable. If everybody can have it, it's it, if it's something that's truly unlimited, then it's not it's not valuable at all. It's, it's like it's worthless, right? Like so um yeah, basically what happens is you look at something like Ecomi and you're like, mm, it has 300 billion coins." Like that's not really it's not going to ever be that valuable because it's way too many coins. But what it does is it burns it. Like the coins get burned, the more NFTs and stuff on the VV app are actually sold. So these are the burned coins. And that what this means is that these coins will never come back. You will never be able to use these coins ever again. They're put inside of a wallet that cannot be touched ever again. There's no code to even get this out if you wanted to. Which means that once these things are burned, they're burned. They're, they're just there. Like so. The bigger this number gets, the more valuable our stake in um, Ecomi is going to be. So basically, we want this to we want this to get to like a hundred at the point where this is like a hundred billion. We're sitting very pretty. <laughs> we're sitting very very pretty. But let's jump into the charts. Before we do, be sure to drop that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new to stay updated on everything Ecomi. But um, yeah, let's jump into the charts. So definitely, congratulations. We have hit a penny once again. We have hit a penny. So this is the stats from yesterday. Um, this this is the let, let's take a look at this. So check it out. This is the last 24 hours. The last 24 hours we've went up almost 10 percent. Um, it's been fluctuating. Obviously, it fluctuates back and forth, but we went up 10 percent. So all in all, yesterday was a success. Yesterday definitely was a success. As you can see, the trading volume went up yesterday as well. The last 24 hours, the trading volume has gone up. Um, market cap has gone up 10%. Um, let's see. Look at this. The um, fully diluted market cap has gone up. So let's actually look at the charts. Now, I want to look at the day chart so we can actually see this in day format of what happened. So this is how it was going. This like It was just regularly doing its thing, moving, moving. And then, let's see. It starts spiking. It starts spiking. It starts peaking. Like you can tell. Like this is when the news starts spreading of what was going on. The news starts spreading of everything that was happening. Um, so the news starts spreading. Okay, a drop is coming. So then, um, yeah, we get we get these this this upward trend. We get this little upward trend going into today. Now everybody, because everybody's excited. It just came out. So we get this little upward trend, and now we're steady moving up. It looks like it looks like it may be consolidating maybe going ahead and down heading down a little bit but as you can see it does this it dips up and down on its way up so we're moving up we're moving up steadily and it's looking very very good right now Ultraman has just been released so you know that that's going to bring a lot of attention to um to the coin now I have never reviewed charts or anything like that before I'm still learning so let me know in the comment section if you are ex more experienced doing the charts and things like that I watch a lot of videos I see a lot of people um, analyzing the charts, I don't pretend to be an expert at charts. I invest based off of feeling and logic like, oh, th this guy has worked with Pokemon, he's worked with this, he's the founder of it, so I think it's going to be successful. Like, I, I like that's, that's like, my, my research is in the people. I believe in the people, but I do really understand the true value behind the numbers as well. But I don't think that, like, here's the last year of Omnicoin. I don't think that there's really enough of a history here like there's no there's no trends yet 
there's no trends. We haven't really gone through anything. We don't know anything. So I guess the best way to really judge these charts would be to compare them to a to uh, um, other token or another coin. But yeah, we don't have enough data. I don't feel like um, like it's it's been constantly going upward. Like <laughs> from what I can see, the last year it, it seems to be constantly going upward. There's um big dip downs at some, certain points. Like I, I I was actually here for this too. I don't know why it dipped so much. Why why it skyrocketed so much that day. But then it dipped back down. So I guess it, because it's rising so much, there's going to be bigger dips. Like it, it, it is. It is like any other coin or any other um yeah crypto. It rises so much, then it's going to dip. The dips are going to get look a little bit bigger, but it's still going to uptrend because this is it looks when you look at it from this way, it's still back on the move, going up. Probably passes all time high soon. It's probably going to um retest. I know you got to retest this um and try to break past this point. Um, but yeah, like anyway, I'm not an expert. Let me know what you all think on these charts. Let me know what you all see. If you see something that I'm missing, let me know where you think Omicoin is headed in the short term, long term. I definitely want to hear everything you all have to say. Um, but yeah, definitely leave me tips. Leave me tips. I want to get better at analyzing the charts and really understanding what everything means. I know the basics. I know that we got to get past here. This is probably going to be a, res a point for support, right? Like this, this point right here, or maybe it's this one right here. So I know somewhere around here is going to be a support point, so we should not drop below this again. Um, and then if we do manage, like if something ever happens where we do manage to drop below that, it should, like I said, the support should be around here to where we never drop. So so basically, I, I get like the gist and the basics, but I definitely want to understand more when it comes to reading charts. So let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out.